My name is Amanda Codum. I'm the artistic director and owner of Stepper Style Dance Productions right here in Durham. We've got classes from ages walking all the way through to adult. There truly is something for everybody in the family here. We have lots of different programs to choose from. We have recreational level as well as pre-competitive level. Uh, when your daughter or son wants to get into competition, we also have part-time competitive as well as full-time competitive. I think that what makes us stand out from the other studios and why we're winning first place Best Dance Studio uh, season after season is due to the quality and the attention to detail that we have in our programs. Um, from recreational all the way through to full-time competitive, the faculty are absolutely outstanding. The bios speak for themselves and, um, and that comes through in, in the students' training and you can see it on stage. Um, so most definitely the quality and the attention to detail in every level. I have many goals for Stepo Style Dance Productions. Um, the top three would have to be bringing quality dance education to the Durham region, um, unlike any other school in the area. Um, the next one being that all of the students can go home and say, Mom, Dad, I had so much fun. Well, what a blast tonight was. Um, after saying that, uh, my next goal is that they say, you know what, I learned so much. Uh, I think it's really important that, you know, when parents invest their time and energy to put their children into something, that they are getting results. Um, yes, they have fun, but yes, you, you see your students and, and your children learning. Um, that's what it's all about, right? Fun and learning. I have two children myself. I have a daughter who's four and I have a son who's nine months. Um, having children definitely helps you know what the parents are looking for because you are now one. Um, when I look at my daughter take class, I, I want her to have fun. I want her to love what she does. I want her to be inspired. I want her to have a teacher that that lives and breathes the passion and, and can fuel her energy towards dance in a positive way. And I hire teachers based on, on those needs and wants as a parent, um, which is definitely, you know, it's really improved the program. I believe that parents see a whole lot of signs that they can recognize as a dancer in the making. Um, say you're in your car and you turn on the radio and your little son or daughter in the back is bouncing around. Um, or they're watching, you know, the next step or so you think you can dance and they're running into the living room and showing you the dance moves that they've made up themselves. Um, there's tons of different ways to see if your child loves to loves to move. And if they love to move, then they might want to dance and not even know it. So as parents, there's ways that we can recognize if this is something that maybe they'd like to try to do. I think one of the greatest misconceptions of Stepa style or misunderstandings is that all we do is competitive, which um, is absolutely not true. Uh, we have recreational levels all the way from walking with our mom and tots class to recreational adult where these are people who've never danced before. Um, but when you're so successful at something, I think it's um, easy for people to assume that that's all you do. Um, yes, our competitive levels are very successful, but we absolutely are a recreational studio as well. That's where we started um, and we progressed into competitive over the years. Um, anybody who's seen our recreational program show knows that it's hands down the best in the city for recreational. So, um, yes, that's one of our, one of many of the greatest misconceptions of our studio. So, yes, we have recreational and yes, we have pre-competitive levels. Um, our pre-competitive level takes a little bit of every style. It's a little package um, that includes a little bit of every style so the kids can give that a try. And they find out if they want to compete. Um, some decide, you know, they want to stick with the recreational program and some say yeah you know what I want to give it a shot um, so yes uh, that's probably one of the biggest greatest misconceptions I know it's been an excellent amazing great class um, if my juniors hug me 
and if the teens tweet about it, <laughs> that's how we know. If the juniors come up and they're so excited and, and they give you a big hug before they leave, um, you know it's been a great class. And when those teens get on those, those phones of theirs and they're <laughs> tweeting about it and writing it on Facebook like, thank you so much Mandy, I had a great class, that's how we know that, that it's been really good. Okay, I've been teaching for almost two decades, 18 years now, um, and I have to say that out of all of the levels and, and programs that I have taught, I can tell you the hardest class to teach is the two to three year olds. Those are the tough guys. Um, if you can hold their focus for a half an hour and make things fun and energetic, and they're with you, you are an excellent teacher. Um, we make sure that we hire the best of the best, that when they're in that classroom, um, they're warm, they're inviting, um, but it is definitely hard work to teach those two to three year olds to stay on your toes and, and keep that focus from them for that whole half hour. Um, and I strongly believe that if a teacher can do that, um, they're good. Each season, I come in at the end of the season to see every single recreational class and I have so much fun watching the instructors work with every single student. Um, the students absolutely love their teachers and you can see that they're having a blast in class which is exactly what I want to see. Um, and it's nice for me to get out and be able to see every single one of them, like uh, all of our students, whether they're recreational, pre-competitive or competitive, they all know me, which is a really nice feeling and I will always, you know, it's one of my goals, I will always make sure that they know who I am, what I'm about and um, yeah, I look forward to, to keeping that and maintaining that in the years to come. I absolutely love my role as director. This is where I'm supposed to be and this is absolutely what I am meant to be doing. Um, to be able to step back and guide the faculty's talents in the right direction to make sure we're getting the most from the students. Um, so it's just what I'm supposed to do. And we've had such success that you know, we're doing it the right way and I'm going to keep working hard. It absolutely is a very competitive business out there. And um, the way that we you know, make sure that we're moving forward and thriving is each season we sit down as a faculty and discuss the program from the previous season and the achievements and accomplishments of the students and you know how we can better the program. So every season there are changes to the program that we have. We're never at a standstill. We're always progressing forward and I, I think that's really important and that's what's keeping us on the cutting edge. I had one of my instructors when I was in my teens tell me that her greatest regret was not staying pro long enough before she started teaching and, and she gave up her career. Um, so I really took that to heart and I made sure that you know, when I started my professional career that I did everything that I wanted to do before I started teaching and settling down. I literally did every style that you could possibly imagine, except breakdance. I mean, come on, look at me. Um, I did uh, ballet companies, top companies, uh, jazz, commercials, music videos, um, just everything under the sun. Anything that I, I felt that I wanted to do and, and have, I, I did. Oh, it's for sure helped me um, be able to help the students find their way and their path and their future. Um, doing all of those different styles professionally made a lot of connections and um, we have a friend that's an agent in Toronto at one of the strongest agencies for dancers and uh, every season we bring him out to the intensive that we have and, and he checks our dancers out and gives them notes and um, yeah, it's just been really great to have all of that experience to guide them in the right way, um, whatever their path is. 
When deciding where to go for our competition season, um, we search out the big guns. We're looking for the big, strong studios in Ontario. Um, I think it's really important for several reasons. Um, we've always wanted to have our students be humble um, and to be inspired by, you know, there's always somebody better than you out there and I think it's important that every student know that. Every time that we've gone up, you know, against some really strong studios in Ontario, um, our students always bring their A game, they bring their absolute best. Um, and they've improved so much because of it. So um, when searching you know, for those competitions and where we want to go, we're definitely um, striving to find the best because we really believe that if you find the best and you compete against the best, you're, you're going to end up being the best um, that you can possibly be. At Step With Style, we teach a lot more than just dance. Uh, we teach students about life skills and time management, um, but one of the most important things I think that we teach um, and that today's generation definitely needs to know is that you don't get anything handed to you, that you have to work hard for it and, you know, dance, that's what it's like. If you want to know how to do something in dance, you have to work hard for it. Um, because things don't just get handed to you. Muscle memory doesn't just happen. You have to put the work into it. Um, and we always like to train the students in a way that they're not just learning dance, but they're learning life lessons that they can take with them. Um, we've had so many of our graduates move on to university and write us and say, wow, thank you so much for, for helping me become you know, good with my time management and be a hard worker because I'm on the honor roll in university um, or I've been chosen, I'm the youngest on the team, but I've been chosen to be the dance captain due to my work ethic and it's because of you guys. You know, when we're getting those messages back, that's how we know that, you know, it's working and that it's absolutely worth taking that extra time and, and making sure that we're not just teaching dance, that we're also teaching life lessons.